In this video, we're going to look at using the Caliber LVS tools in order to run a layout versus schematic check on a circuit in the TSMC 65 nanometer kit. If you haven't done so, watch the video on using the DRC kit in order to learn how to set up the caliber environment in Cadence. Here you can see that we have a simple ESD circuit consisting of two PNP transistors, two diodes, and a poly resistor. <clears throat> I've placed two input output pins on the circuit, one at the input and one at the output of the ESD circuit, and labeled two global supply nodes, VDDD with the global exclamation point and VSSD with the global exclamation point. In the layout, I've drawn the layout as best I think it matches the schematic and created labels to denote the nets. The labels are placed on top of the metal layer using the pin layer. So we can see that this is the VDDD global node and it is on the M4 pin layer. You can see that here. Similarly, I've placed a VSSD layer this is the output pin, and the input pin is up here at the top on metal 9. And all of the pins are placed on the pin layers for the respective metals. It's difficult to see the layout, so I'm going to disable a few of the layout layers that cover up the circuit. Here we can see that we have three supply rails that will eventually be connected to other pads and our ESD circuit consisting of PNP transistors, di the two diodes, and our poly resistor. I'm going to launch the Caliber LVS environment by going to Caliber Run LVS. I've already got a run set saved, so I'm going to open that. You can see my run set by navigating to my caliber runs path under my TSMC 65 RF folder if you are a student in my lab at the University of Utah. Otherwise I'll show you how to set up the kit generally although the specific paths to the files may change. So here we start in the rules tab and we navigate to the 65 nanometer installation and the LVS folder under caliber and choose the caliber.lvs file. As in the DRC, we want to run this in the caliber runs directory that we create in order to keep the system from piping files all throughout our installation directory, or sorry, our project directory. Under inputs, we want the layout to be exported from the layout viewer. We want the net list to be exported from the schematic viewer. And we don't need to set anything else here. We're going to run this as a hierarchical. In other words, it will only extract, it will extract one instance of each cell. And if there are multiple instances of that cell, it will uh, create a hierarchy of those cells. We shouldn't need to do anything with outputs. For LVS options, I've labeled a few power nets and ground nets. In our case, the power net is VDDD, exclamation point, and the ground net is VSSD, exclamation point. And I don't believe that I've included anything else that needs to change in this file. Under run control, we might select multi-threaded and use all of our CPUs. Again, for large designs, this will save us a lot of time. We're going to click Run LVS. It's going to ask us if we want to save anything that was unsaved before we start the, the extraction. We're going to do so. Oop. I did forget something. Under Inputs, Netlist, 
we need to add a sources added file that's under the TSMC path. All right, now that this is added, our circuit should run, or our LVS should run. All right, here we can see that it ran, and if everything is connected correctly, then you should get something like this. Everything should come up green and smiley. So here are our extraction results. We see that there are no extraction warnings. And for our comparison results, we see that it says that it's a correct comparison. Of course, if there were errors, they would be listed under this view and you would be able to click through and try and figure out what those errors are and they would be things like maybe there were short circuits or uh, maybe open circuits or maybe the par parameters of a certain device that you instantiated were wrong. Okay with the LVS complete we can now run an extraction on this circuit and we'll do that in the next video.